the authority to subdue, the authority to correct. There are many things that are wrong, either in our lives, around us, anywhere. But we need this authority. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The church has a spiritual authority, but it's God that has the power to execute that authority. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is there is a power and there is an authority. They walk hand in hand. Yes. Ordinary person can say, like this, the seven so, that means sons of Scabas. They went to the demon possessed person and said, In Jesus, in, uh, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, that Paul and Peter preached, we cast you out. And the the demon look at them and say, Paul, I know. Say, Jesus, I know. Mm. But who are you? Mm. And he dealt with them. That is an authority that has no power. Mm. There could be an authority. You can say, go. And you will be looking at them and say, oh, what? I don't understand what you are saying. Mm. Because you had a big last week. And you, you went and did something about it. Now you somebody said he has a day. Instead of you to tell the person to go and do what you did, you are now telling me to leave. You know, the person the demon will be looking at you and say, Ah, this man doesn't know what he's doing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you must know who you are in Christ. The Almighty God has given us power over principalities, over over every spirit that is not of God. He has given us power to make changes in our lives. If there are unpleasant things around us that we really don't like, we should be able to to say to, I mean, to, to tell to, to, I mean, to, to tell that situation in prayers and say, leave. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So Satan operates with this Adamic authority. I really want us to know how the powers, I mean, the authority was taken from uh, 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 Adam and how. We got the power back. Demon subjects to Jesus Christ. If you can see it in me, we can see that in uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 31 to 36. Yes, that's what we just read. Demon subjects to Jesus' power. In Matthew chapter 8, verse 5 to 10, we see how authority works. Matthew. Matthew 8, verses 5 to 10. Let's see how this authority works. The authority that has been, that has been given to believers, let us see how it works. And when Jesus was entered into Chapnam, there came unto him a centurion, beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lay at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should have come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority. Having soldiers under me, and I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he do it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that follow, Verily I say unto you, I have not found a great, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And verse 13 says, And Jesus said unto yes. the man, said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And the servant was healed in the same same, I mean the self-same hour. So this authority 
you can exert your authority, the authority that has been given to us, we can exert this authority right from where we are. There's no boundary in the spiritual realm. Yes. You can command some something in Canada right from here. You can command situations from Nigeria right from this particular point. Anywhere in the world. You can see, the Bible say, if that shall believe, you will say to any mountain, be thou removed, it will be removed immediately. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ was not there. He knew that if he prayed there, that that, that, that boy would be healed. Mm-hmm. But he wanted to test, he wanted to see if that man faith. actually has faith. faith. Mm-hmm. And that is what Jesus, that is the word that is coming to you today. Mm-hmm. Do you believe you have this authority? Let us examine now. Let us see. I know that faith is a seed that we have to develop, and that is why we are in the Bible. We are, we are in this Bible study. We have to believe that we have to say, except if you, are, if you have not received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And I, 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 like I said in one of our, one, one of my sermon in this church, I said when you receive when you receive something, mm-hmm. it means you are taking, and it is not you. It's not part of you. When I say take my phone. I mean, take the phone. The phone belongs to you. It's in your custody. So when you accept it, it is not yours. Then. So when we receive and accept Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. Jesus Christ in totality is ours. Then. The power is our own. The authority of Jesus Christ belongs to us. Mm-hmm. Everything, the blessings and everything about Jesus Christ belongs to us. Does it mean that stone will not come? No. Stone will come. For instance, if you don't have anywhere to go, what is the essence of driving your car? Hmm. If you don't have anywhere to go, why do you have to even start the engine? Whereas the car is even your own. So it's meant, it's meant to be used to transport you from one location to another. And if you have done, you have told the whole of the United States today, it doesn't mean tomorrow you are still not going to go to anywhere. Hmm. It is a repeated process. So, Exactly, your authority is a repeated process. Using the name and the power in the name of Jesus in Jesus Christ is a repeated process. Challenges we come every day. Amen. It is only a dead man that doesn't have challenge. Even when he's dead, there are still challenges. Yes. Or it is buried. Mm. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in, in, in five minutes, let us see the authority that is given to the disciples. We are the disciples. Jesus Christ transferred this right, I mean, this authority to his disciples in Luke chapter 10, verses 17 and 19. Let's see it again. Luke 10, 17 and 19. When the disciples have the right because. When the servants took forward return, yeah. they were excited and said, Lord, they were excited and said, Lord, even the demons obey. Yes. Obey. When he spoke in your name. Yes. Obey. When he spoke in your name. Jesus told them, I saw Satan fall from the heaven like a flash of lightning. I have seen people. 19. 19. I have given you the power of trump on snake and scorpions and to defeat the power of your enemy, Satan. Nothing, nothing can harm you. Hallelujah. See, behold, I have given unto you power to tread upon, <coughs> upon to tread on serpents and, and scorpions. scorpions and over all the powers oh, of the oh, enemy. Enemies. And nothing shall Charm. by enemies hurt you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to, everybody to read this same verse together. That is Thank Matthew you. and Luke. Chapter 10, verse 19. One, two, go. Behold, Behold I, give I give unto, unto you power, power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and, and over all the powers of, of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. Jesus' name. The authority that he has been given. Yes. He said, Behold, I have given unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Who are these? What are these serpents and scorpions? Do we have to go about looking for serpents and scorpions? <laughs> these are the challenges of life. 
that can kill. Yes. These are the challenges of life that can make us go away from the faith. Even as Christians, we all have challenges every day. So Jesus Christ said, I have given you power. And the disciples now said, they now went out with this same power. And we saw it in, in, in verse 11. We say, and the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devil are subject unto us through thy name. So the authority we have is the name of Jesus. Through our faith. We have to believe it. It is when we believe it, then that is when we can do it. If we don't believe it, we cannot do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If we don't believe it, we cannot do it. You have to believe in the power that the Almighty God has given you. We have to believe in the grace that we are, that we are having in this power. The name of Jesus is a strong tower. And that when the righteous run into it, they are saved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Almighty God will bless us. Amen. This is where we are going to stop for this week. By next week, we shall be learning about the authority that is given to us. The next time we are we will be meeting, in about three weeks' time, we will be learning about the authority that has been given to us. Then we will know what we can do with it. Knowledge is power. It's Amen. when we have gotten this knowledge. That, that we cannot make use of it, and the devil will be, will be subject to us, and our life will be better in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 and derived authority you must understand that the authority to do things by God is unchallengeable Bene. it is absolute derived authority is the authority given to you and the Bible says go to 1 Corinthians 15 that all Christians is a topic we will use in the revival one day you remember that all derived authority will one day be returned to God who gave it. Repeat, go to it, 1 Corinthians 15, 24 to 28. What does it say? Then come the end. Yes, then come the end. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God. He will have delivered the kingdom all to God. Even the Father. Even the Father. When he shall have put down all rule and all authority and all power. All rules and authority will be returned to God Almighty who gave it. Amen. So Amen. What does First John 2.73 says? It says, you who are the faithful will endure throughout eternity. Amen. When you believe strongly in the Lord, first John, towards Revelation, first epistle. And the world yes, passed away. As the world passes away. And the laws the, thereof. Yes. But he that do the will of God. When you do the will of God. Abide forever. You will abide forever. We who are the, the reward of the faithful is that we will endure through eternity by the grace of the Lord. If we do the will of God, the strength to do it may grant unto us. Amen. And know that there is no power in pastor has, in shepherd has, or any witch or wizards. All power belongs to God. Amen. He will endure with us. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Over. Jesus Christ, Holy Saint Michael, Father Lord, we thank you. We give you glory and adoration for this holy hour because you fill our mind. You ease our pain. You let
let us feel you in our life that you are there for us. Jehovah, we give you glory and adoration. Because you are the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. You are sound and perfect in our life. Hallelujah to your name. We will always glorify you. We always praise you. And forever and ever. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name.